Hello, welcome back. So I, I've grown up always hearing about how the U.S. school system, their public school system, is not as good as many other places in the world. We're not very high ranked at all, and I think we're lacking behind in a lot of lot of ways. But now it kind of seems like they're very slowly adding, you know, more technology. I know people that are in high school now, for example, that are doing doing mechanical work like uh, the building robotics and coding some more of this modern society, modern needs of the world. So it's, it's like it's coming along, but I, I feel like we're slowly but surely still falling behind. Uh, we're really not quick to jump on new new ideas and new teaching methods at all like the rest of the world. And our technology in general in the classroom is just kind of stagnant in a lot of ways. But this is more about and that's gonna be a video for the future, but this is more about the teachers and how do they compare specifically between the UK and the US, not specifically, it is uh, between the UK and the US. And I'm assuming it's more along the lines, like the UK is generally the same as, as you know, Europe, the European Union, in a way, like how those teachers are, like they're much closer um, with, with the hours and salary compared to the US because I know teachers here it seems like they're always on strike you know every couple of years uh, asking for more pay and, and other, other other things for them and their family and this will be a good good comparison between the UK and the US so let's let's see what the difference is starting at the teacher the teacher level we may believe the experience of going to school is universal but it varies greatly depending on which country you live in some might say that the purpose of education is learning valuable information. Others would argue it's primarily about becoming an effective critical thinker or that it's simply a bridge to university. As the learning experience can vary depending on culture, politics, and economics, the teaching experience also comes with its own set of unique activities. Today we're going to be looking at how teachers on different sides of the Atlantic deal with their day to day at school, what is similar and what is not, and who has the best roll of the dice with the perks of the teaching game. Welcome to this episode of the Infographic Show, US Teachers versus UK Teachers. I mean, right off the bat, just from what I've heard in general, I'm gonna say UK teachers all the way and how they teach. That's just my guess. Chris. When we Seems started like doing be. our research online, we first came across a topic that has been making headlines in the United Kingdom, the UK teacher recruitment crisis. The UK has a shortage of teachers, an issue that has arisen as a result of the boom in birth rates and the rise in the number of pupils attending schools. Though the number of primary teachers has been steadily going up, it is not enough to deal with the increased number of children joining primary schools. Adding to this, there have been complaints of high workloads, increased targets, and insufficient remuneration, which have resulted in experienced teachers leaving the profession. According to a YouGov poll, 53% of teachers are considering leaving their jobs. Wow. 11,000 young teachers actually leave during training, a figure that is three times more than it was six years ago. That's incredible. Not in a good way. 53, over half the teaching population that, that they, you know, polled are thinking about leaving their job. That's massive. And the fact that 11,000 young teachers actually leave during training, I wonder, is that annually? Did he, did he say probably on an annual basis? But I wonder how much that is, like what, what percentage of people leave during that process, the training. British newspaper The Guardian reported that ministers had failed to meet teacher recruitment targets for five years in a row, leading to 10,000 fewer secondary school teachers being hired than intended and that recruitment target for computing teachers had been missed by more than 1,000 over a five-year period. A shortfall in physics teachers of almost 1,200, and the target for mathematics teachers has been missed by 1,850 recruits. The figures published by the Department for Education in 2016 also showed teacher vacancies up by 26% over the year, with 920 vacancies for full-time permanent teachers in state-funded schools, up from 730 the year before. So how does this compare a, to the yeah, US teacher talent pool? When we looked online, it seems many of the same issues are apparent. A That's 2017 Washington Post article referenced a study which published data stating that teacher education enrollment dropped by 35% from 691,000 to 451,000 between 2009 and 2014, and that nearly 8% of the teaching workforce is leaving every year, many before retirement That's age. Lot. The That's reasons behind the shortages are similar to those in the United Kingdom. One, student enrollments are increasing and will continue to do so by 3 million to 53 million total in the next decade, 
This is driven by higher birth rates and immigration. Two, teacher attrition is high, at 8% annually, with two-thirds of those that leave doing so before retirement age and most because of dissatisfaction with the conditions of their employment. So it seems there is a similar situation with the teacher shortage in both the UK and the US. So this is all interesting, but what about the day-to-day -day experience of those teachers who are working in schools? How do the jobs compare? We took a look at salaries, and using data from the OECD, we did some side-by-side -side comparisons. This is what all we right, found right. out. For starting salaries, US teachers are paid up to $42,000, whereas in England, it is up to $31,000. For That's actually better than I thought for the US. I thought it was gonna be in the 30s as well, like higher 30s. But I'm actually kind of surprised that England's uh, lower. For teachers working in the industry beyond 15 years, US teachers are paid up to $45,000, and in England, it's $42,000. For top of the scale teachers, US teachers are paid up to $46,000, whereas in England, it is still $42,000. Looking at how the ages of these teachers compare, the average age of a school teacher in America is 43, whereas in England it is 39. In fact, teachers in England are the fifth youngest based on a survey of 5 million teachers in 34 countries. Say, it's pretty so young. US teachers do a little better on the salary front, but maybe there are some other drawbacks. What about working hours? Well, unfortunately for those teachers in England, the lower pay doesn't equal lower hours. According to a study that was referenced in an article in the UK newspaper The Independent, teachers in England work longer hours than almost anywhere else in the world. Wow. The study found secondary school teachers work an average of 48.2 hours per week, with 1 in 5 working 60 hours or more. That's an extra 2.7 hours per week compared to teachers in America. Question for people in pretty much in Europe as well, but the UK, how long are your school hours and like when you're in high school or elementary school, um, what do they call that primary school over there? I'm not, not exactly sure, but we would go in, I forget what time it was. It was something like eight o'clock. I think we would start at 7.30 in the morning and we would go to, I think about 2.30 in the afternoon, something like that. It's been, it's been a while. I wonder what the difference is between that as well. Cause I know the teachers before and after, and even during a lot of times are just working with the students. They have after hours that they, they work sometimes one-on-one -on -one with the students. And, um, and then they go home a lot of times and grade papers and, and stuff like that. So th there's probably quite a difference there. The extra hours are spent on marking papers, lesson preparation, and filling out forms. So there the pros go. of teaching certainly seem to be weighted to the US side, but an area we haven't explored is teaching materials and supplies. UK schools are provided with supplies such as pens, paper, and learning resources. This is where we get annihilated over here. This is, they, they don't help much. In fact, I think teachers buy a lot of what they use in the classroom, including the pins, at least a lot of times, like the uh, the markers that they use. Resources, and though we did find some cases where the school budget had been exhausted and the teachers had to dip into their own pockets, these seem to be isolated. However, in the US, this is a highly controversial area, and in many cases, teachers are being lumbered with large bills for supplies, which if they do not buy, the teaching activities may not happen. According to a study by the National School Supply and Equipment Association, US teachers spend around $500 of their own money each year on supplies for their students. And in 2015, when the Huffington Post asked teachers to tweet how much they spent on their classrooms, many replied saying several hundred dollars and some even several thousand, so this $500 average might be low. We all know the importance of good teachers, so let's look at what the data says in I think that's a huge, uh, we're almost done with the video, but that's that's a huge mistake for the US, at least any school in the world. I feel like they should be in, encouraged and like you could dip from this pool, whatever the teachers of the school every month for projects and, and more more kind of fun tasks. I'm, a, I'm definitely a visual learner. I can't, I, I don't like here in the US, there's so much, and maybe it's the same over there. There's so much just writing on the board or, or you know, PowerPoint slides, there, there's a lot of that. And it's just so hard for a lot of people to just learn that way and for it to, to retain the information. So if there's more, you know, crafts and, and projects like that, that uh, you might, instead of the teachers buying the material, they're more encouraged and they have this little pool that they could pull from to, to make these happen. Just a thought. I think creativity is, uh, is, is key in thinking out of the box.
terms of student perspective. Statistics from an it. ING Foundation survey told us this. Roughly 88% of people say a teacher had a significant positive impact on their lives. Around 98% yeah. of people say a teacher can change the course of a student's life, and though it can vary by grade level and number of years teaching, the average teacher affects more than 3,000 students during their career. There's a lot to say about our community awesome. of teachers on both sides of the ocean, and whichever country a teacher is based in, there are always benefits and drawbacks. So, are you a teacher who has his or her own perspective on the subject? Maybe you've worked in both the US and the UK. If so, That'd be impressive. That'd be a fun, fun video to watch. But yeah, do you know any teachers or have you been a teacher? Are you thinking about being a teacher? Because I think all those were pretty much what I was thinking. Uh, I was surprised that in in the UK, the teachers do have longer working hours compared to the their counterparts here in the US. Um, and I was also a little surprised of their pay being lower. And that was, a, that was I'm assuming, translated into US dollars or also be a whole nother well, another uh, topic if it was still in uh, in the pound, pound sterling. But let me know what you think about this. I've definitely had some phenomenal teachers, never really overly bad teachers, some that just, you could tell they don't want to be there <laughs> and, or they don't really like kids all that much, but it's just kind of their job and they've been doing it for 800 years. Most of my teachers have been good and there's been a few that, that do have to buy their own materials, I'm sure, like in science, for example and you do all these projects and, and build build the solar system or you build build up an atom and um, st stuff like that. Fun stuff like that really makes it stick with you and you remember it forever or just other things that probably don't cost money you could do as well. But that's just my thought. Thoughts from a Californian. Let me know what you think are your experiences in school or especially if you're a teacher or know one of them. And uh, I'd like to hear. So until next time, thank you for watching and uh, to more of these videos we go. Until next time, have a good day.